Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I got a special little camper we're going to review today. I've, I've I reviewed a few of these over the years. You, we don't get many of these in, but today we're going to look at a 2017 Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser. The model number is a 23BHS, and guys, this is a little 26 foot, one inch long total length. That includes a tongue modern retro style or vintage travel trailer so it's a newer trailer newer construction methods but built to look like a antique travel trailer which i really love guys I, i'm an old i'm an old school guy i like the older campers i like the look of the older campers but at least with this way you get the modern lightweight construction and uh, still get that old time look but this 23 bhs guys is in great condition i've got it plugged into power 30 amp electrical service and uh you know these are really neat guys prepared to get a ton of attention when you roll into the campground with this one uh looks like a 57 chevrolet uh made into a, camp, a travel trailer to me uh beautiful colors of turquoise and, and cream uh got the beauty rams and uh, uh excuse me got the centers the old style wheels got a power on it's a little dirty but it looks good all fiberglass exterior weighs 4300 pounds and change dry weight i've got like i said hooked up 30 amp power acs on you know just a good looking little camper but still got modern amenities still got the old teardrop style lights but they're leds sewer flush slide out uh, of course six gallon dsi water heater it's got a furnace and this is the first one of these I've reviewed that has bunks in it. You know, most of these were just simple, you know, rear kitchen or uh, rear bath floor plans. This one's actually got bunks in it and a Murphy bed in the front. So really cool guys, very aerodynamics, all fiberglass, including a fiberglass roof. Let me pop a drone up real quick. Let's do a roof shot. Not me, you don't see many campers with a, with a fiberglass roof, but hang on one second. So you see guys, a lot less maintenance involved with a roof like that. Power tongue jack, got the double propane bottles, deep cycle battery, of course. Nice camper for under 20 grand. Little bit of outside storage, not a lot, but hey, it'll get you by. Let's look inside. And as we step inside, of course, you know the poster is going to match. Man. Cool camper. Really cool. Put that air down. 13,500 BTU ducted roof air. It does have a queen bed in the front, but it is a Murphy bed. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for a minute and set the bed back up where you can see the sofa. I, normally I can do this while I film but the previous owners replaced the factory mattress with a lot thicker one. So it takes two hands to uh, to wrestle this bed up because it's a lot heavier, a lot thicker mattress than what it came from the factory. So, you know, the flip side of that is it's gonna be a lot more comfortable when you sleep. But the bad side of that is it's not as easy to put up and down as it was from the factory. So hang tight, let me pause the video, set this up, and you can see what it looks like. All right, everybody, wasn't too bad. But here's the sofa folded down, so this would be like a day bed. I love that material too, by the way. And uh, you just flip that over like that. And here it is set up for daytime use. Got the individual reading lamps up there. Uh, table booth makes a bed. There's your comforter for your uh, Murphy bed. You've got closets on each side. Uh, curtains. Definitely got the throwback. 50 style curtains. I uh, got a television, which does work. I just don't have a very good signal where it's parked at off the antenna, but it does work. Check out the old, uh, that's a new stove and oven, or at least, you know, when it, when this was new, but it's kind of a retro style, uh, black and chrome. Looks really good. Greystone microwave. Do have a six cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer. 
countertops look good got the definitely got the old school looking cabinets and ceiling panels got the cool americano uh, border around the wall it looks good a little cubby, cubby storage up there got a good sounding stereo I, I was listening to it earlier while i was taking pictures surround sound speakers 13,500 BTU roof air blowing great and of course like I said the only one of these I've ever had I, at least I believe with bunks in it so you can sleep two in here two on the table booth two up front six a six sleeper and a 26 foot camper that's plenty of course refrigerator looks just normal just got the green panels on the front to match the decor of the camper and you can do a lot with this guys I mean you know you want to go crazy decorating and go ahead i mean just just keep going with the theme of it and i mean just be a really neat um be a really neat little toy to have and uh shower does have the glass steam garden shower with a skylight everything looks good does have a vent fan in here medicine cabinet vent fan that's 12 volt There's your control switch for your water heater. Neat. Varnish control right there. Table is removable. So if you didn't want this table up here to use for eating or for like a desk or something like that, you can take it down and use this for another sofa if you wanted to. Leave your bed folded down. See, that's what a lot of people do with those Murphy beds. With this configuration, they'll just put leave the table at home and use this for the sofa and leave that bed folded out all the time, especially if it's just a couple going. Um, and just use this for your sofa. But yeah, guys, pretty neat little camper. It's lightweight. It's uh, definitely got the fun factor going for it. And it's reasonably priced at only $19.9. While it lasts, uh, 2017 Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 23 VHS 19.9 includes our major systems inspection. We're going to hook it by RV Techs. We're going to hook it up to power. We're going to make sure your refrigerator works, refrigerator and freezer, which is already starting to cool off, but it takes those things six to eight hours to get to operating temperature. So we'll definitely run it that long, make sure it gets to operating temperature. We'll make sure your AC works uh, like it's supposed to, gets to the correct temperature. Uh, we check your slide out, make sure it works, which it obviously is. Uh, we check your plumbing systems, which includes all your faucets, spigots, toilet. We make sure all that works. We make sure there's no plumbing leaks in it. We check your water heater, make sure it gets hot. <laughs> it pumps hot water to all your faucets and spigots. Um, check your water pump, make sure it's got the correct pressure and no leaks there. Uh, we make sure that uh, steps work and your power jack works on the front. And uh, that's how we keep our prices so low, guys. We do the major systems inspection and everything else, guys, is sold as is, where it is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, and listen carefully, guys. If you want to buy this unit or any other unit from us, you need to do one of two things. You need, you need to come look at this unit. Let us know you're coming. We'll plug it into power so you can check it out for yourself, do your own inspection, and or hire a third-party RV inspection service because, guys, any RV you buy, new or used, you're going to work on that's just the nature of owning an RV. I know salespeople don't tell you that, but I'm not a salesperson. I do the advertising. I can tell it to you like it is. I've been an RVer for over 25 years. I've never owned an RV I didn't have to work on. Uh, it don't matter if it's new, it don't matter if it's used, it don't matter how much it costs, it don't matter the type, the brand, it don't matter if it costs $20,000 or $2 million or anything in between, you're gonna work on it. But, it's like owning a houseboat or a vacation home or any other luxury item that you don't use every day. It's things are going to happen. Travel trailers are pretty simple, though. One like this is pretty simple. It's not real complicated. You know, anybody with common sense that knows a way around a toolbox can fix majority of stuff in these little campers. I mean, it's not that hard. Um, it's not like it's got a lot of computerized parts and automatic leveling jacks and auto start generators and all that stuff that you know you have to go to school for to learn how to operate I mean these are pretty simple um, so I don't think you know that that's gonna be a problem for a lot of people 
pretty much if you're a homeowner and you're used to fixing little things around your house then fixing little things on your rv shouldn't be a problem it's you know a lot of the stuff's real similar a lot of it's different but a lot of it's similar but you know we check the major stuff the stuff that can ruin your trip at time of sale make sure it works and of course you know we leave the little stuff to you which so far guys i checked the tv i've checked the awning all that's good um the only thing i've seen on the awning canvas it's got a little small little maybe inch and a half two inch tear going into the tube i'll put in a request to see if my guys can put a new awning canvas on it uh for you it's the least i can do um they may not do it until we sell it they're pretty backed up right now um with sales believe it or not they've actually gone up in the last couple of weeks you know everybody's saying rv sales are down yes they are for most dealers because most dealers have got their stuff jacked up to the moon and people are getting smart about it they're looking for bargains well when they look for bargains who do they go to they come here to parkway rv center so we're drawing a lot more out-of-state buyers now because people are more price conscious than they were this time last year where they were just looking for an rv that somebody had in stock it didn't matter what it cost they just wanted one now more people have them in stock now they're look more looking for the lower price well guys we've always had both in stock and lowest price so yeah more people are coming here to buy so our business it stays busy no matter what the economy is doing because we're all used our prices can't be beat and we don't have any fees or upsells you know you go to any other dealership especially the corporate dealerships you see 19.9 on an rv you don't walk in there with a cashier's check for 19.9 and your sales tax and leave with a camper now do you no because they're going to add uh, you know anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars in fees like dock fees prep fees uh, processing fees and destination fees and all this junk that's nothing but dealer profit uh, never pay a fee by the way and then they're going to start talking about oh yeah to buy it for this price you know you have to go through one of our lenders if you bring your own money most dealers charge you more than the advertised price if you bring your own cash or go to uh, your own bank for a loan guys here we don't care now we don't we ask that you don't bring hundred dollar bills but we're not going to turn it down if you bring it and the reason we ask that you don't bring hundred dollar bills just for your own safety it's dangerous to travel with large amounts of currency especially across state lines now if you do it's your it's your choice i'm not going to turn it down but we do ask you know if you are going to pay cash to bring cashier's check or set up a bank to bank wire transfer at your bank before you come down so you just make a phone call say hey i'll look at the camper it's good to go sit go ahead and send the wire and we'll have it just like that you know most of the time or send a cashier's check as long as we can verify it it's the same as cash does but um um but i'm again guys you bring cash i'm not going to turn it down either it's just a little bit more paperwork involved and we have to get some certain information from you that sometimes people don't want to give up because we have to do a certain forms with the internal revenue service because it's over ten thousand dollars cash for maybe three hundred which protects us and protects you so anytime you give somebody over ten thousand dollars in cash whether it's a business or an individual make sure that they file that 8300 form because they can get both of you in trouble if they don't in a single transaction so uh, if you want to look that up go ahead but um anyway and it's just anti-money laundering law it's, it's no big deal believe me i've had plenty of them filled out on me when i bought stuff for cash before and uh, but what i was getting at guys is you know we don't charge extra if you bring cash we don't charge extra if you go to your own bank and get a loan you're more than welcome to go through one of our banks if you want to we don't make any money on financing and the reason other dealers charge you more if you bring your own money or get your own money from your bank is because they miss out on, on potentially hundreds if not thousands of dollars in more profits uh, when they go through their lenders because their lenders let them mark the interest rates up over what they got you approved for let's just say they got you approved at six and a half percent interest they don't tell you that they're the dealers dealing with the bank you're not they're the dealers you're going through the middleman the dealership dealerships marking that rate up one or two percent and you have no idea 
and you're signing up and then they're all talking about all these upsells, extended warranties, gap insurance, tire and wheel packages, roadside assistance, vacation packages, all that stuff's marked up four or five times dealer cost. Then they're adding it to your loan and they're not going, they're not selling it to you on the amount of money it's adding to your loan, they're selling it to you on payment. They're gonna tell you like, oh, only $15 more a month, you get this warranty or, you know, for 12 more dollars a month, you get gap insurance. Or if you need gap insurance, go through your auto insurance company, guys. You can get it for a fraction of the cost. And if you bought it right, you don't need gap insurance to begin with. And then they'll start talking about vacation packages and campground packages. And again, guys, none of that stuff's dealership exclusive items. Most of it's not worth the paper it's written on. Those aftermarket warranties, not worth a flip. Stay away from them. You might as well just take uh, the $2,500 or $3,000 are charging you for an aftermarket warranty. Put it in a cash, put it in a paper sack, throw it in the middle of the driveway and throw a match to it and watch it burn because that's what you're doing. Except you're just giving it to the dealer. Basically, you give them a tip. Because <laughs> those warranties very rarely pay anything out. They'll do everything they can to keep from paying a claim. Uh, you know, every, maybe one out of four claims, one out of three or one out of four claims, you may get some reimbursement back for a repair but very rarely and then only partial reimbursement so very rarely do you actually win buying a warranty basically you're prepaying for stuff that you probably won't ever spend that much repairing especially a towable camper and if you do they're going to argue with you and they've got an out to keep from paying any sort of claim sorry about that guys I had to do a quick memory card uh, swap but that's what I was getting at, guys, is just say no to warranties, unless they're factory warranties. That's the only one that's worth a flip. Save yourself some money and some time. It's just a waste of money. But anyway, guys, give us a call if you're interested in this camper. Uh, it's 19.9 haggle-free firm while it lasts. 706-965-7929. Uh, Don't expect it to be on the market very long. Stuff's selling like crazy. I, I can't, you know, like I said, our prices can't be beat. And, um... And it's a cool floor plan. You don't see many bunkhouse vintage cruisers. And um, this is actually a, one of the few brands that I wish we could get the franchise for, do. I really like these campers. I know that it's kind of a, not. I mean, I know a lot of people like the looks of these, but maybe not enough to buy them, but a lot of people do. You know, we got a lot of car people into classic cars and stuff here in, in our area. And just like all parts of the country, of course. And, uh, I don't know. This appeals to them. Especially if you got an antique pickup truck, something like that, tow with this. I mean, be an awesome rig. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and feel free to call with any questions. Feel free to comment. Let me know what you think about the camper. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.